taken art hope you guys doing good today we will discuss about the sql server services not starting after enabling the ssl in this uh, in this uh, in this session uh, one of the scenario when your ssl is enabled and you are facing the issue your sql services is not getting start so what is the reason actually so before starting the session i would request to each and everyone who are newly joined on channel please like do subscribe and don't forget to share please visit the channel playlist sql server dba you will get more than 160 videos which can help you it is if you are if it is if you are get, like to sub please like to subscribe and do press the bell icon okay so let me describe a scenario a little bit actually uh, this scenario is basically uh, based on the ssl okay so if your ssl is go you are going to configure enabling on a particular instance or it's already enabled and you are facing the issue while restarting the sql services so what is the reason actually so i have created a document for this what kind of error you are getting and you know how to resolve this issue so normally you will get this kind of error uh, if you are getting this kind of error I have already highlighted in yellow. Okay, so you need to uh, perform these seven steps to fix this issue. Okay, so basically this is the permission issue to your certificate. Either your certificate is not installed properly. If it is installed, then definitely it should be a permission issue. You need to grant the permission of uh, certificate. Okay, so for that you need to follow these steps. You can go one by one, one, two, three, four, seven. Total eight steps is there. You can go it. I am going to show you right away or do that. How to do that actually? Okay. So basically, you need to first figure out what are the service account for your SQL Server instance. Okay. Uh, it could be a domain account. It could be a local system account, local service account. Okay. So that need, you need to figure out based on the second steps. You can figure out. Okay. And then you need to open your you know uh, Microsoft Management Console MMC. So for that, you need to go to Run. Just go to Run and type MMC. So once you hit the enter, it will uh, prompt the uh, Microsoft Management Console wizard. Okay, this is the MMC, Microsoft uh, Management Control. So here you need to go to File, okay, and then Add Remove. Already steps are mentioned in the documents. You can go with that. And here you need to click on Certificate Add. Okay, once you click on Add, it will ask you three. So by default, you can go with the computer account. Okay, select the computer account and click Next and you need to change no need to change just click on finish and ok so once you click the ok your certificate will come here if you expand this under the personal once you expand the personal you will see the certificate right now you are not seeing because i, I don't have any ssl configured enable so once you click on a certificate here ok so it will uh, you know populate all the certificate in this uh, tab ok the name tab uh, all the certificates will come right click on a certificate and go to the manage key if you see here in a steps right click uh, you know imported certificate and you need to go to manage private key manage private key it will pop up the another window there you need to select the uh, add the uh, you need to go to the low under the groups username you can just add your service account sql server service account and give the permission uh, if you want to give the full control you can give it otherwise you can give the read permission and you can just uh, click on apply and ok and then you try to restart the services definitely it will help to re resolve the issue so uh, through this way you can you know figure out uh, ssl certificate permission issues be be sometimes based uh, be, uh, because of the permission issues certificate getting failed so newly deployed certificate also if you don't allow the permission uh, it will get it will not start the SQL services. So make sure once you you are deploying the SSL enabling the SSL Make sure you grant the permission of uh, At a certificate level, okay for the SQL server instance So these are your eight steps will help you to granting the permission you can Go with these steps. Okay. It will resolve the issue So well, that's it for today. Hope we'll meet you soon till then. Bye. Bye. Thank you